Good morning to one and all present here. I am Ramya Devi working as assistant professor in SNS College of Engineering. So in this video, I am going to explain about file organization. So file organization, the database is stored as a collection of files. Each file is a sequence of records. A record is a sequence of fields. We have a file with two types of records. One is fixed length records, other one is variable length records. Fixed length records store record 1 starting from byte n star i minus 1 where n is the size of each record the rec record access is simple but records may cross blocks deletion of record i alternatives move records i plus 1 up to n to i up to n minus 1 move records n to i do not move records but link all free records on a free list Free list. Store the address of the first deleted record in the file header. Use this first record to store the address of the second deleted record and so on. Can think of these stored addresses as pointers since they point to the location of a record. More space efficient representation. Next is the tree list after the deletion of records 146 in the account records. So there is an account in which 1, 4 and 6 has been deleted and after that the tree list will be look like this. Next is your variable length records. Variable length records arise in database systems in several ways. Store of multiple record type in a file, record type that allow variable lengths for one or more fields, record types that allow repeating fields, different techniques for implementing variable length record exist. The slotted page structure is commonly used for organizing record within a block. The slotted page header contains the following information. The number of record entries in the header, the end of free space in the block, an array whose entries contain the location and the size of each record. And this is the block header. There is a size and then the location. So the entries will be available for the records and then the there and there will be an end of free space. Records can be moved around within a page to keep them contiguous with no empty space between them. Entry in the heads must be updated. Pointers should not point directly to record, instead, they point should point to the entry of the record in the header. Organization of records in files. There are different types of file organization. One is heap file organization, sequential file organization and hashing file organization. Heap file organization. Any record can be placed anywhere in the file where there is a space for the record. There is no ordering of records. There is a single file for each relation. Sequential file organization. Store records in sequential order based on the value of the search key of each record. Hashing file organization. A hash function is computed on some attribute of each record. The result of the hash function specifies in which block of the file the record should be placed. Generally, separate file is used for store the records of each relation. In a multi-table clustering file organization records of several different relations can be stored in, in the same file. Operations on file. They are grouped into Retrieval operations and update operations. Open, opening a file for reading and writing. Reset, sets the file pointer to the beginning of the file. Find, searches for the first record that satisfies a search condition. Read or get, reading the current record in the file. Find next, searches for the next record in the file. Deletes the current records and updates the file pointer. Modify some field values of the current record. Insert, inserts the new records in the file, close, completes the file access by releasing the buffers, find or locate all the record in the file, find order, retrieves all the records in the file in some order, reorganize, starts the organization process. And thus the file organization And thus the introduction to the file organization has been has been completed and the next topic is RAID level and which will be discussed in the next video. Thank you.